project specifications for lining the interior of storage tanks, vessels, and rail cars, and specifications for coating and lining of liquid and gas pipelines frequently require a continuous holiday and pinhole free coating or lining system. Rather than relying on a visual inspection, holiday or pinhole detectors are used to determine the number and location of skips, misses, and pinholes so that they can be repaired prior to placing the tank, vessel, rail car, or pipeline into service. The pipeline industry refers to this procedure as Jeep testing. If holiday, pinhole, or Jeep testing is not performed and there are undetected voids in the coating or lining system, then the contents of the tank, vessel, rail car, or pipeline may attack the exposed substrate and cause pitting corrosion, loss of section, and eventual perforation of the substrate. In addition, the contents may become contaminated with the corrosion products and the coating and lining debris if deterioration occurs. Pinholes are usually caused by poor wetting of the coating or lining on the surface during application, poor application practices, or outgassing of air or solvent without subsequent flow out of the coating. Holidays and pinholes are commonly found on areas that are difficult to protect or access, such as edges and corners, welds, bolts, nuts, and threads, behind angles and clips, between back-to-back -back angles, etc. Large flat surfaces like walls of a tank or vessel are easier to coat and therefore usually contain fewer pinholes and holidays. Pinhole or holiday detection is usually conducted after the final coat has been applied but before it has achieved its full cure in case repair of the coating film is required. Some project specifications require holiday testing prior to application of the finish coat. If this is the case with your project, you will need to verify intercoat cleanliness of the surfaces prior to application of the next layer. Holiday detectors operate by applying a current to the surface of a non-conductive coating and grounding to the substrate. The current passes through the pinholes or misses, completing an electrical circuit, designating the presence of a flaw. Since these detectors will only work on non-conductive coatings applied to a conductive substrate, epoxy coatings applied to steel can be tested for holidays, whereas a zinc-rich coating applied to the same steel could not, since zinc is a conductive metal in the coating. Some high-voltage detectors can also be used to test non-conductive coatings applied to concrete, provided the concrete has sufficient residual moisture to make it conductive. There are two different types of holiday detectors. The one you select is based on the total thickness of the coating or lining system. Low voltage or wet sponge holiday detectors are used on coatings and linings that are less than 20 mils thick. High voltage holiday detectors or spark testers are used on coatings and linings greater than 20 mils thick and in some cases down to 10 mils. Holiday detection should not be performed on a lining system that has already been in service. Using a holiday detector on a coating previously exposed to an immersion condition can result in damage to the coating and can produce erroneous detection of discontinuities due to permeation or moisture absorption of the coating. Deposits may also be present on the surface causing telegraphing or current leakage across the surface of the coating due to the contamination. A low voltage pinhole detector can be used without damaging the coating, but it may also produce erroneous results. Holiday testing is governed by three industry standards, including ASTM D5162, D4787 for sheet linings applied to concrete substrates, and NACE SP0188. A fourth standard, known as ASTM G62, was specifically prepared for the detection of holidays and pinholes in pipeline coatings. So that's all there is to it. Log on to ktauniversity.com for other instructional videos on holiday detection and other subjects.